Just under a year ago, me and my brothers went on a trip to southern Italy. I filmed everything, but never edited the footage. Well, better late than never, they say, right? These videos show off everything we enjoyed that Naples and the Amalfi Coast had to offer. Enjoy. Salute! It is the morning of the fourth day in Napoli. After a very nice evening last night watching the Chelsea Liverpool game on the television, we are ready to go raring. Um, not the earliest of starts for us today, but we are on our way to the main central station in Napoli and we are heading off to get the train, which is called the Circumsuvio network, which obviously Mount Vesuvio, Circumsuvio, it goes along the coastline past Mount Vesuvius to Herculaneum, um, which is an old. Um, volcano site which got covered in lava and molten mud so it got really well lager. preserved lava what did molten i say lager. Molten, lager. <laughs> molten lager i couldn't think of anything worse molten lava um and so it got really well preserved and then it also goes shot. to also goes to pompeii um which is yes um everyone knows what pompeii is so we're heading to pompeii first on the train and then if we got time we're going to do that herculaneum a city sorry if i'm saying that really wrong We are now in the central station of Napoli and we are getting the train all the way to Pompeii. Uh, not Pompeii the new town, but um, Pompeii the, um, well, ruins. ruins, yeah. It's going to be very long, it's going to be very hot. This train over here is not our train, but that is the sort of train we'll be getting. Look, when you're talking, you direct your voice all the way over there when the microphone is right Sorry, here. You're so you're messing up any- Shit. You just broke it. You just broke it because now it's peaking every time I speak. Hi. Just got our tickets after queuing for 10 minutes and we are now at Pompeii after a train journey and a little ticket queue up. And we're going to walk around with a tour that we've got in our book and also a map and it's going to be fun. And then we started to explore the ruins of Pompeii. Along with Herculaneum and many villas and surrounding areas, it was buried in four to six meters of volcanic ash and pumice in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79, if you didn't already know. <gasps> oh my God, Architectural Digest. And here's my flat in Pompeii. Um, and so I'm just going over to my kitchen, frying up some stuff, chucking my wood in my oven. And then it's quite a small flat here, so um, if you need the loo, you just walk over here. And then obviously, back in those times, I'm assuming they just had the squat toilets. So you just... And then um, the living room's just over here as well. And they didn't have TV or... Probably not even that many books back in those days. Oh, so hi guys, what's for dinner? You were just sitting talk. I've just cooking, but I've just pooed there, so just watch out. Um, but yeah, I'm just cooking. I've just put the fire in the stove, um, and then sorry, Jerry's got the basil from next door. Jerry, where's the? Give me the basil. So Anthony's just made this pathway for us of mosaics. Very nice. Anthony, I'm with you. Pompeii is a UNICEFCO World Heritage Site and it is supposed to be one of the best archaeological sites in Europe. The only problem is, and I don't know if this is just us, um, it was quite boring because a lot of it looked exactly the same. Every single street you turned was identical to the street before. The city was very monotonous in its look, obviously because it was covered by a load of volcanic ash and it was destroyed. There were, however, a few hidden gems, one of them being this amphitheatre we found, which Anthony took a particular liking to, because if you don't know, my older brother, Anthony, is um, a theatre manager and he works in the theatre. Are you not 
not entertained. Ooh, echoey. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Can other people hear that though? Yeah, they'll hear me resonate more. Are ready? I can't hear that though. I can only hear it from here. So. Okay, ready? It's a drain and that's a pee pee area. Many other areas of Pompeii also weren't as monotonous as the destructive streets as they were being well maintained by the Italian authorities, such as this beautiful garden which would reside in someone's private residence. So we don't know for sure, Sebastian, tell the people what you think is going on. Well, I said it and then apparently Phil said it's answering a little bit earlier, but if you look all the way through here, there's three stones every three or four or five so meters. And just the way it's designed and how they got all the new wells here makes me to believe that this used to be a canal. Man made one so that they could get the water to the houses. Among many private baths that were still very well maintained, there was also another amphitheater where gladiators and would have fought and lots of theatre shows would have gone on. I stroked him earlier, he seemed alright. There wasn't any water there. Oh no, that's not. No, no. That was a nice bit of luggage I just tried to do there, and you just ruined it. Good. Obviously one of the most interesting parts of Pompeii was a stark reminder of what happened when Mount Vesuvio did erupt and the terror that lied within. All of these bodies you are seeing are preserved bodies that were covered in molten lava. They're not models or um, relics, they're, they're the real thing. We have just finished exploring the um, ruins of Pompeii. Very, very interesting. I think if we do a bit more reading from different books we've now bought and other stuff, we'll get a better idea of what the city was like when it was at its um, height, peak of cityness. But um, very, very interesting and very sad. Luckily, there was an earthquake about, I don't know, 50 years before the um, massive um, um, volcano erupted. So instead of 20,000 people dying, there were only 2,000 people living in the city. Still very unfortunate, but yeah, it's better than all of those people dying, 20,000. The rest of them relocated. And even to this day, Italy's government wants people who live in Pompeii to relocate somewhere else, but they're very, very reluctant to do so. Um, but it could erupt at any point. It's an active volcano. I was making a funny face to the camera, your dick just grazed right on my face. Oh, no.